Hey guys, Monrock here with a uh, tutorial video for those of you uh, that have made it here but don't know what Duras is yet, uh, but are curious enough to have watched this video. So, uh, yeah, here's simply put from where you're at how to get to Duras. Um, I would recommend you go to zugsoft.com. They have a little free download link here. You can download a um, download a copy of a program that will allow you to connect. I think it's CMUD that they give you, but the one that I'm currently using is an older version called ZMUD. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be about the same uh, about the same prompt. You're going to get something that looks sort of like this, where you'll have an option to create a new account. Go ahead and make a new you make a new character, or whatever they call it on here. You can type in durismud.com, D-U-R-I-S-N-U-D dot com. And then the port is 7777, seven, seven, just four sevens. And then, uh, yep, hit connect. Alright, so you'll connect. You can read all this stuff on your own accord. It's going to ask you what, what do you want your name to be, or do you want to generate one? And for this tutorial, I am going to, um, I am going to make my own. Let's call him Gandar with two R's. You should be known as Gandar. Yes. Does your name meet the criteria? So you can slow this down and read it if you want, but it's basically asking is your name appropriate for a fantasy based game? I'm going to say Gandar is. I'm, I'm going to make Gandar Dwarf or a Barbarian or something like that. Please enter a password. And I'll just for simplicity, because I'm going to post this online, I'm going to say ABC123. You might want to make yours a little more secure than that. Anyways, am I new to Duris? Yes. So this right here is asking, uh, or basically explaining what's going on. Uh, it's a good versus evil concept. There's a race war in which the good races, right here on the left, are constantly fighting the evil races, which are on the right, with uh, two races on the bottom being neutral races that can basically pick who they want to fight for, more or less. Um, so without any further ado, I'll make him a furball. I don't think I've made a furball. Furball. That's a weird word. Furball. Furball. So I'm actually going to go back really quick just to show you something. So I just hit P there in the lower case, and it goes forward and asks me if I want to be male or female. But um, if, if you hit Z, you actually can go back to the race selection if you pick something and you didn't want it. But if you do a capital letter P... It actually gives you the help file on that particular race, so this is useful when you're picking it. You can sit here and go through and figure out, you know, what kind, of, what kind of guy do I want to be, and, and what, what options do I even have if I pick this guy? So this guy is telling me right here, I only have the option to be one of these three classes. So, um, you know, I'm fine with that, and you can go through in your own time and look at all these races and, and see, or look at the help files online once you get in the game. It doesn't really matter, but just for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and hit P, choose male for my sex, and I, just for easy sake, will be a warrior. My options are good and neutral, because I'm a, I'm a good race. I don't have the choice to be evil, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and select good. And then uh, this is kind of just a breakdown of everything I've already selected. One thing that's new is telling me my hometown is going to be Tharnadia, which is uh, one of the goody main hometowns, so that's good. It tells me my possible specializations by picking the race and class combination I picked. So I have Swordsman and Guardian. And then it says uh, press Enter to start adding stat bonuses. So here's basically the point where you get to pick where you want to put your additional points, so to say. And so, since I'm a warrior, I'm just going to say I want to be really strong. I'm going to put all of mine in strength. Boom. All four points in strength. Do you want to keep this character? Yes. Um, and so this is a bunch of stuff that you should read. Um, and it's a whole bunch of stuff about your responsibilities and you know how to use your characters and blah 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 blah. But I, I suggest you sit here and, and freeze this frame, read through all that, and then and then continue. But just for the sake of the video being relatively quick, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And same thing that I just said. This is all of the rules that it's it's asking you to agree to all these rules. It's the same thing. You should freeze it. You should freeze it now. You should freeze it when you're in the game prior to and read the whole thing. But just for the sake of video, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. I agree. Um, there's an auto approve process. You don't actually have to sit here and wait. There's an auto approve process. It's just gonna say press return, and then um, hit one, and you are in the game. Boom! You're in Duris. You log in, and you're at the end. Look, there's a person here. 
Um, and that's it. And then in, uh, once you're in the game, you can start doing some basic commands. Like for this, I will type in look to look around. You can navigate with uh, nautical directions. If you look here, it says obvious exits, west and down. West goes to a corridor, I go back. Down goes to uh, the lounge in this inn that I'm in. And so that's it. That's pretty simple. Some other uh, basic commands will be in uh, another tutorial on the video, but this is how you uh, connect to Durus. Uh, have fun. Happy hunting.